Hi, this is John from Chicago and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to go on into what you need to fly FPV. Um, in the past, um, I used to recommend getting a ready-to-fly kit. The two kits that are out there uh, are the Emax kit for $180. It includes a really nice quad, the uh, Tiny Hawk 2 and then it has just so-so goggles and controllers but it, everything would work you just plug it all in and you could be up flying the thing is in the future probably within a half year or so you'll want to upgrade the radio and you'll want to upgrade the uh, uh, goggles um, uh, another model a ready to fly model from a different manufacturer beta fpv came out a little later and then i started recommending that as a starter kit and the that one has a uh, beta fpv light radio which has a lot better gimbals in so the fill on flying is good uh, the thing is the radio does not have screens in it it doesn't have all your stuff that most radios not full function so in the future to add additional quadcopters you're probably not going to use that uh, radio you're going to be replacing that radio and that uh, radio uh, that came with these same goggles that I'm recommending the VR01s from Beta FPV and the for the quadcopter it came with a nice quadcopter a Meteor uh, 75 um, so the combination is pretty good uh, except for like i said the radio you probably will want to upgrade it has good characteristics on the gimbals but uh, it's not really your future proof um, so uh, for two hundred dollars i i think you could spend like thirty dollars more and get something a little bit better um, as far as the radio goes so what i'm recommending is to buy a radio that you're going to be able to live with for the next couple years and I'm recommending the Jumper uh, T-Light. Uh, it's a lightweight, one of your lighter radios that are out there. It's full function. It will um, it does it all. It has uh, battery recharges in place. It has a multi-protocol module in it, so it will bind uh, any of your quadcopters that are out there. And um, the gimbals are great. These are the same gimbals that are on their more expensive units. Uh, so uh, I would recommend this as a radio so you get something, you learn how to use it, it works good with a simulator, um, it'll work with all your other quads in the future that you add. Um, so I would recommend getting a good radio for $76. The next thing I recommend would be to get the um, goggles, the Beta FPV VR01 goggles. I learned on the um, Ishin uh, EV800 goggles, uh, they're real similar to these, uh, just a little bit bigger screen, but these are about half the cost. These are $55 where the EV800s uh, are $100, and I don't think you want to put $100 in on something you're probably going to replace in the next year or two. I flew two years with my box goggles, nothing wrong with it but they're not as comfortable, a little bit more weight sticking out there, and uh, I think you'll probably upgrade the goggles. So uh, buy something that works good, but you're not going to feel bad about upgrading them in a year. And then the last thing is quadcopters, and this is where I have difficulties because there's so many quadcopters out there. I had a ton of them. Uh, most of them would work good to learn to fly, um, so I'm picking something that is... You could still learn to fly with, but it's going to be fun in the future. So these are four quads that I'm kind of recommending on the start. There's others that are out there. Um, one would be probably the uh, Emax uh, Tiny Hawk 2. This is the Tiny Hawk S. Tiny Hawk 2 has a better camera on it. It's a little bit more heavier and it's white, um, but that'd probably be the number one that I would most people would recommend and I'm recommending uh, that sells for $109 comes with one battery and a small charger um, another one of this size these would work both indoors and outdoors I like the 75 millimeter size for getting started it's easier a little bit easier to find and it'll fly better main thing it flies better outside it has bigger props on it larger uh, prop circles um, so it's going to handle the wind better. Um, uh, so another one, uh, this is a little less expensive. This is a, uh, a Happy Model Mobilite 7. It's the newest one out. It's uh, still in quite demand, so it's hard to get. you got to watch the stores and 
they come in and out of stock all the time, but uh, these sell for $90, $20 less. It comes with two batteries instead of one. Your flight times are longer. These batteries will last indoors about 10 minutes, and outdoors uh, on a racetrack or something, they're still going to last five minutes. Uh, where these here are probably five minute, uh, anywhere from four to maybe six minutes uh, max, and probably a little less with the um, Tiny Hawk uh, 2. Uh, it's a little heavier, but uh, so uh, you get long flight times with this, and uh, downsize is it's made light, so they give you an extra frame in the box, and you're probably going to break a frame. You can add a, another frame, buy another one for $5. It's heavier duty. It's the version 3 frame. These come with a version 2 frame, but it's a gram more, and Happy Model tried to make this as light as they could. Um, then moving up on size, uh, these would be if you fly both indoors and outdoors, would be these. This, these next two are mainly outdoors. This one will do indoors also, uh, but this one is probably strictly outdoors. This one is your Beta FPV um, 85 Pro 2, and it's a 2S model, and it has big motors on it. It's fairly light for an 85 millimeter from uh, motor post to motor post. Um, and it's something that you could live with in the future. It's I still enjoy flying this after six, seven years of FPV flying. Um, I, I still in, still enjoy it quite a bit. And then you have your, if you want totally outdoors, uh, get a little toothpick. The toothpicks are fun. This is your latest one out from Hot Happy Model. It's the Crux 3. Uh, they're super quiet. They, again, long flight times. I've gotten flight times up to almost 10 minutes with it outdoors. If I'm taking it easy, uh, if you're flying it hard, you know, five, six minutes again. Uh, but it's real quiet, and it's fun to fly, and you can learn aerobatics real good. It's a real, real good for learning how to roll power loop and split S's and all your different moves is to learn. It's easier to learn on something small and light uh, that doesn't cost as much. It doesn't break as much because of the weight, and it's a lot cheaper to fly. The batteries are maybe $7, $8 a piece versus on a 5-inch, you're looking at a battery that's $20 to $30. Uh, so it's just all around less expensive to fly, and it's just as much fun. So these would be four quads. So basically you're looking $76 for the radio, $55 for the um, uh, goggles, and then anywhere from uh, probably a low of $90, $109, $100, and $95. So you're looking basically 100 for the um, quadcopter. Uh, the other things you should probably get is look at uh, chargers. Um, you're going, of course you're going to need more batteries. Uh, you're probably going to need another $20 worth of batteries because it's important to get a lot of flight time in. So have some batteries. Once you fly, you don't want to be waiting 30 minutes to charge up another battery. You want to take another battery out and just keep going and be charging those while you're flying. So you could get maybe an hour of actual flying time each day that you go out um, to learn to get better. To get better, you really need hours in. So you're going to need a battery safe for $20. You're also going to need a better charger, maybe for $15 to $20. Um, simulator. A simulator is always a great idea. Everybody recommends start with a simulator, but no one does. But uh, I use... Uh, uh, Velocidrone, and I, things I like about that is they have a lot of tutorials on there that'll get you going from easy to more difficult. And the other thing that they'll do is if you get into racing in the future, a lot of your racetracks they'll put into the um, Velocidrone so you can actually fly the tracks before you get to them for competition. So um, there you have it. If you have any comments or questions, please list those below. And I hope you enjoyed this. Hit the like button if you did and subscribe. And this is John from Chicago. Thank you.